In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Desktop 18.04 LTS using VMware Workstation. First thing you need to do is go ahead and download the Ubuntu Desktop. I'm going to put the link on the description. Once you click the link, it's going to download an ISO file. Click Save File and then click OK. Once you download the file, go ahead and now open VMware Workstation. Before you do anything else, I'm going to remove the previous instance that I had. But before you do anything else, go under Edit, go to Preference, and then go to Devices. Make sure for removable v media that this option is unchecked. And for some reason, VMware caused some problems when this option here was unchecked. So make sure this one is checked as well. So this one unchecked and this one checked. Once you have those like that, then click OK. Now you go to File, New Virtual Machine. I'm going to do a Custom. I'm going to leave this default. And I'm going to select the middle option. I'm going to browse for my ISO file. Click Open. And then click Next. I'm going to call this Linux. And I'm going to create a admin username with a password. Click Next. You can leave the name default if you like. I'm going to change the location where I want this to be installed. It's going to go to my D drive and I'm going to create a new folder called Linux. Then click OK. Once you are satisfied with the location, click Next. For the cores, I'm going to do two processors with three cores per processor. Click Next. For the memory, I'm going to do four gigabytes. Well, I'm going to put it here, four gigabytes. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to leave this as NAT for the internet network connection. Leave everything else default. Click Next. I don't have a virtual disk already created, so I'm just going to create a new one. For the size, this is up to you. If you have good space remaining on your hard drive, then you could do more. But I'm not planning to use this virtual machine for much longer, so I'm just going to leave it 20 gigs. And I'm going to leave the default selection for split. Click Next. In here, click Next. And we're going to power on the machine after we create this, so we'll click Finish. Okay, you should get this sequence showing on the screen now. The Ubuntu setup should start loading up for you. Okay, from here you could change the name if you like and the computer's name. For the username, I'm just going to change this. And I'm going to leave this to require my password. Oh, yeah, that's right. So for the username, just use anything unique. Click continue.
All right. So once you finish installing Linux, go ahead and put in the username that you created and the password. All right, the last thing you need to do is you need to go over to your VM here on the top. You see how the screen is small? What you need to do next is you need to go to VM. And you're going to make sure that this is installed, the reinstall VMware tools. If it is, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and shut down your machine. Go ahead and close VMware and go ahead and open VMware again. And now start your VMware system. All right, and now when I go full screen, it should look like that with the full screen. And log in just to make sure that you're able to log in. All right, and now we have a fully functional Linux desktop edition installed and ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.